what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Dairy Queen manager was filmed in a heated discussion with a customer after he asked her why one of her employees was not wearing a mask. Haters don't like that. She went off. He started calling her a Karen. She said, yeah, I'll be a Karen, I'll be a Karen. Gave him a double middle finger. Brandon Trotter asked for his money back. She told one of the employees, give him his effing money back. Gave him the money back and slammed the window and threw up the double middle finger. And he burned off. Now, here's the deal, fam. When handling a person's food, a customer's food, in the state of New York, restaurant employees are required to wear a mask. Plain and simple. So what he was asking for was not outside of the realm of normalcy. The law, common sense. Why is it so damn hard for people to just wear the mask? Okay, the mask is uncomfortable, but so is the coronavirus. So is those caskets. I don't understand. Usually we see customers not wanting to wear a mask and making a big stink about it. But employees, you better believe I will be reporting on her firing because I can guarantee you she has been fired. This story just came out. This happened on July 4th as Brandon was taking his kids to a pre uh, July 4th celebration, uh, I guess lunch. So this woman is just going off about not wearing a mask. I personally think that masks should be required no matter what. Masks should have been required for people that's handling food. Think about this, fam. And I know I've done it sometimes. So if you, ha if you say you haven't done this before, I know you're lying. I, I, I'm not a spitter when I talk. But I have caught myself from time to time spitting. Like something come out of my mouth. I'm like, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. But it happens. And so I know I'm not even a spitter. So if it happened to me, I know it happens to other people. So when people are handling your food, they're talking. Just like when they're like, like you go to one of those places like Salada or Chipotle, where they got one of those lines and, they, and you stand there on the other side and you tell them what you want and they're preparing your food and asking you questions. They're talking over your food. So you know they're spitting on your food. I bet you a dollar to a donut, a lot of cases have happened from the exchange of body fluids with people handling your food. And I'm not even talking about the people that go out of their way to do something to your food. I'm talking about the people just talking and preparing your food. That should be a law all over the world. Nobody should be handling food, open food, exposed food without a mask. That mask should be over their nose and mouth. Nose and mouth. Sometimes people sneeze, right? I've seen these people sneeze right over Folks' food. I think a mask should be required. That is very reasonable. And if you don't want to wear a mask, go somewhere where you don't have to work and deal with people's food. Go somewhere where you don't have to handle folks' food. Do that. But I think a mask should be required and gloves should be required. But even with those gloves, 
I, I, first of all, I think gloves are safer than, than, than just hands, first and foremost, because people have open cuts on their hands sometimes, and they're handling food. Now, we know that wearing gloves, people can get a false sense of security because gloves will oftentimes cross-contaminate, and people just think that just because they got gloves on, they can do anything. I see people handling the cash register, handling your food, you know, uh, grabbing a mop, moving the trash can, rubbing their nose, all kinds of stuff with gloves on. And they think just because they got gloves on that somehow it makes us feel secure. Yeah, it's time to crack down, man. Y'all talking about gun control. We need to have some bodily fluids control. Yeah, I'm with that law. Who down? Let me know. Drop a comment, fam. No more talk. What the haters talking about?